Hi everyone, welcome to this video from me, Corbett Mav, to share with you the exciting project that I've been working on recently, and hopefully some amazing resources that are going to be really useful for your students preparing for the upcoming GCSE Maths exams for GCSE Higher Maths and GCSE Foundation Maths. So two weeks ago, I made an update video, and in that update video, I went through the resources that I've been working on recently, and I said there was an exciting project that I've been working on, and that exciting project has been the 100 Days to Go revision books. So revision books to go alongside the 100 Days to Go revision sessions. Now, I started off as a booklet like this, where I made it so that you could staple it and use it with your classes. And I'll talk about that later. That's still going to be accessible, a freely accessible resource for you to use. But then whenever I made that, I, I went for it and I looked at it and I thought, this is amazing. So then what I decided to do was to make a, a durable A4 book version of it. So this is the GCSE Foundation 100 Days to Go revision book. And there's the GCSE Higher 100 Days to Go revision book. So we've got the two revision books, one for GCSE Foundation and one for GCSE Higher. They're A4 revision books. They're really durable and they're, they're really good quality. They're amazing quality. If you've used the five-a-day books, they're you know just as good as those. So they're really good quality books. And in terms of the books, you've got the revision guide. So you've got the 100 Days to Go revision guide. So you've got the video tutorial there to explain what the 100 Days to Go are and how they will support them with their GCSE revision. And the 100 Days to Go revision guides can be used in the 100 days leading up to the GCSE Maths exam. So the students could use them from the beginning of it's early February in those hundreds of days to go up to the GCSE Mavs exam in the middle of May. Alternatively, you can actually give them out to students now. They could start early and they could just work through the hundred days at their own pace and they could work through them you know, as they want to. Also, you know, you can actually hand them out slightly later and students can work through a few of the days, you know, at a time and work through them that way. But the idea with the 100 Days to Go Revision Guide is to give the students a structure and help the students revise their maths. So it actually goes through a topic every single day. Now, some of the days focus on revision skills. I, I explain to students how they can revise maths, the importance of past papers, where to revise, and different ways to vary the revision to help them prepare for the GCSE maths exam. There's even revision sessions on equipment, so going through the equipment they all need and some tips, for instance, a 360 degree protractor being quite useful for bearings questions. There's also a video the day before the exam, a revision session the day before the exam, going through how to prepare the night before the exam, the morning of the exam, and so on. So this 100 days ago revision guide for both GCSE Foundation and GCSE Higher, they go through a lot of topics, but there's also those sessions on how to revise the equipment that they need and so on. So if we have a look at the GCSE Higher Revision book, you've got inside, you've got your index and it explains the 100 days to go and it goes through all those sessions. So for instance, session one is angles and parallel lines, session two is angles and polygons and so on. And then each of those sessions, if we have a look, we have 100 days to go, we've got angles and parallel lines. We've got the QR code, so the student can scan the QR code and bring them straight to the 100 days to go revision session. So there'll be a revision session that I've created for that particular day, where I'll go through all the key information on angles and parallel lines. I'll go through some questions. I'll then get the students in that video to pause and to try some questions themselves. And then these are the questions. So whenever they pause the video, then they've got the questions to try. And then whenever they're ready to press play in the video, then I'll go through that question. They can check and see if they've done it right. So a bit like a revision session that I would do in school where I'd go through some information, go through a couple of examples, and then I'd give the students some questions to try it themselves. And then here they've got somewhere to do it. So it's that structured format. So then you can see that students are going through and working through and doing that revision. And the parents can check and see if they're doing their revision as well. So this is the 100 days to go revision session with 100 days to go on parallel lines. So they can watch the revision session, then pause whenever I tell them to pause in the video, try the questions, press play and check in and see if they've got it right. And then also at the end of the revision session, it mentions revision card number one. So if they've got the revision cards, these work really well together. Um, and they can then use the revision card to then access the extra practice questions and so on. Alternatively, if they don't have the revision cards, they can just see on Corbett Miles video number 25 and then go to the videos and work sheet section, scroll down to video number 25 and access those practice questions on angles and parallel lines. So there's even more resources there for them as well. So then you can see 99 days to go, angles and polygons. You've got the QR code. So again, they can watch the revision session. Then they've got the examples that I'll do. Then I'll tell them to pause and to try some questions themselves. And then these are each of the questions. So it gives them that structure to the revision session. So this is the 100 days to go revision book. And it's got revision sessions on a daily basis. And then with 66 days to go, we've got revision tips. So the student can scan the QR code. And in that video, I go through lots of different revision techniques and strategies. And here, you know, for instance, we've got the importance of past papers, perhaps doing past papers and time conditions. There's also resources such as the ultimate revision video and the checklist and things like that. And I refer to them in the video. But these 100 days to go revision books for GCSE Higher and GCSE Foundation are a fantastic resource that'd be really, really, really useful for your students to prepare for their GCSE maths exams. 
But also, earlier on in the video, I mentioned that these would be freely accessible. And that's really important to me. If you look at Corbin Labs, there's no sign-in required. You don't need to pay a membership or anything like that. Corbin Labs is a free website with things such as the five a days. Yes, we do have the five a day books, which are a fantastic resource. I'm actually just going to mention, see the way here that they're blue and green for the hire. And the book for the hire 100 days to go book is blue and green so it's sort of tied in there as well but we've got the resources such as the five a days all the practice questions video tutorials and so on but also one of the most important aims with corporate maths and has always been one of the most important aims of corporate maths has been to support as many students as i can and their teachers and their parents to support them with their studies and so in terms of that the, the one of the most important principles for me is to make corporate maths a freely accessible website so these resources, these 100 days ago revision books, whenever I started to make them, the aim was to make it as a freely accessible booklet for you to download, and that will still be the case. So you could download that booklet, and then you could print it out and give it to the students in your school, and it would look something like this. And again, it's to get all those contents, the same resources as the printed book. And you could print that booklet out. It's got 112 pages, and you could staple it, and that's a booklet that you can give out to your students, and that is freely accessible. So there's the, the books, and if you wanted to buy these, these is a fantastic resource. It's a durable, fantastic book, but I've also priced it such a price where it's hopefully cheaper for you to get the book from me than it would be to actually photocopy it and hopefully save you the time and effort as well. But also by buying it from me, you'll actually be supporting the website and keeping the website freely accessible for years and decades to come. So in terms of the booklets, as I've said, there's a digital version and there's the physical A4 version. And they're the corporate maths 100 days to go revision books. So hopefully they'll be really, really useful for you. So in terms of these books, if you did want to buy them, they are on the website and you can buy them on the Corporate Maps website. If you go down to books and scroll down to the bottom, at the bottom of the books page, or there's a new, and there's a link now down at the bottom called Shop in Blue, and you can click on that and you can click on the 100 Days to Go Revision Books and you can buy these books there. There's also the school order form. And again, you can buy those for your students there. And again, hopefully that'll save you a lot of time and effort. And you can just order them from us and they'll be with you really, really quickly. And as I said, they're amazing quality. But also if you wanted to, you could download the book. And if you wanted to download the book and produce them yourself and give them to the students yourself, that by all means, that's fantastic as well. And hopefully your students will find it really, really useful. Now in terms of this book, it's a really large file. It's, it's massive. I think it's a few hundred megabytes, each one of them. And it's not a file that I wanted to put on the website straight away. So what I've actually done is with the, these books, if you want to access this, if you do order the books, and even if you just order one of the books for yourself, you'll get priority access to that download. So I'll email you the link straight away, or as soon as I do the order confirmation, you'll get the download link to the book, and then you can download that as well. Even if you just bought one of these for yourself and support the website that way, then what you'll do is you get priority access to that digital file, and then you can download that and use that for your students. But also, if you just want to request a download, what you can do is on the website, there'll be a link and there'll be a link on the website where you can request to download that. And then what will happen is once I've gone through the people who have bought the books and they've all got that file and once the demand's gone down a little bit, I'll email that file across to you. So you can either buy the book straight away and get the priority access to the file or you can just request access to it and then you can get it yourself. And then you can have that book, which would be an amazing resource to support your students for the GCSE Math Studies. So guys, that's what I've been working on recently. I've been making these 100 days to go revision books. I really hope you're gonna find them useful. And, and again, I hope you continue to find the revision cards and the books useful as well. But also if we go back to that update video, there's loads of resources that I wanna continue working on over the course of this year. So for instance, I wanna carry on updating this practice questions. I've added on several thousand questions and I'll add on a few more thousand questions and finish that update of all the practice question booklets. I wanna carry on making the video solutions to those as well. Also, I wanna make GCSE Fun for Maths five a days for the students in Northern Ireland. I wanna look at A-level resources. Also, I wanna have a look at some primary resources because I mentioned the support my son as well. So there's loads of free resources that I wanna carry on working on. As I said, they're all freely accessible, those resources. And I really hope you'll find these books as amazing as I do. I think they're absolutely fantastic resource. Really useful for your students preparing for the upcoming GCSE Maths exams for GCSE Higher Maths and GCSE Foundation Maths. So guys, I really hope that's useful and thanks very much. Cheers, bye.